All right, everybody. Here I am with all my worldly possessions in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And by the time you see this video, I will be in Michigan, hanging with my family, surprising them hmm, almost two weeks before I actually planned on being there. Uh, why is that? Well, uh, so there I was in Spokane. Uh, had lined up a couch surfing gig. About 9.30 at night, they stopped responding to my texts, which left me with nowhere to sleep. And so I went to a cafe that was open till four in the morning, a, a diner. And I stayed there till about four. Uh, and then walked around Spokane, you know, as the sun came up and didn't sleep that night. And uh, was running out of funds. Um, and so I thought I'd hitchhike. So I stuck out my thumb in Spokane, uh, trying to get to Missoula. I was there on the on-ramp to the highway for about an hour and a half, and I started thinking, you know, this doesn't feel right. When I first hitchhiked to California, uh, I had in mind the idea of taking, when I was 18, uh, with a girlfriend, with Corey. Um, for me, it was taking the, the cards I'd been dealt in life and giving them all back to the dealer and taking new ones and just, just seeing what, what I could do with a, a brand new hand. And in the time I've been in Chico and in California, the past 18 years or so, off and on primarily, um, I, you know, I've gotten a decent hand dealt to me. Um, you know, I feel like I'm leaving California for now with two aces in the hand. And so there I am, you know, ready to hitchhike, trying to stand in there with my little Missoula sign. And I thought, you know, I don't, I don't need to put, give all five cards back to the dealer. I don't need to take this risk, to be perfectly honest. Um, so I was there for a while, and I was like, you know, I'm not going to do this. And uh, and I called up the Willards before I left. Um, the Willards had let me know that, you know, if I need to pull the cord, if things weren't going. Um, in a moment, how they needed to, um, that they'd help me out with that. So, you know, there I was, haven't slept all night, haven't showered in two days, had a couch surfer kind of flake on me, decided I didn't want to hitchhike, was running out of money, and so I said, you know, it's time to pull the cord. Um, I'm looking at that first leg of the journey, the seven, eight cities I went to and the episodes I made as a field test. Um, because, you know, with few exceptions, there was a lot of positive response to what I was talking about and what I was, you know, sharing with these communities about next year. Um, and that field test showed that there is interest, there's strong interest. So pulled the cord, called up the Willards, and they bought me a bus ticket all the way to Michigan, uh, for which I'm grateful. Thank you. Um, so I've been, you know, my posts have been saying I'm off map and with good reason. That's the reason, you know, running out of funding, uh, knowing the top middle part of the country, I didn't know very many people, you know, a friend in Bozeman, a friend outside Missoula, a, you know, Pine Ridge Reservation, but, but you know, just it, it, it just felt right to pull the cord. So that's what I've done for that leg of the journey. Um, I still hope in the next year to hit up those cities, either in person or via the interwebs. Um, but uh, I've made this call because I realized the only thing between um, this concept and success is money. You know, if I had a few thousand dollars to keep buying bus tickets and, and, and train tickets, um, I know this could happen. The, the field test proved that. And, uh, and thankfully, I have episode footage of it all. So. I feel as though getting home early and spending time focusing on how to get that money um, better serves the project than me hitchhiking state to state, who knows what happens, and you know, yeah, and, and, and just kind of throwing all five cards on the table again. I don't, I don't need to do that. I don't need to take that risk. Um, because I have a, a wonderful support network and that believe in me and the concept 
uh, of what I'm working towards here. So I utilize that. Um, now, why aren't you going to see this video till I'm in Michigan? Because since I'm showing up early, I've always wanted to surprise my family. And thankfully, my brother-in-law, Dave Matthews, I'm not kidding, my brother-in-law, Dave Matthews, is going to be picking me up at the uh, bus terminal uh, tomorrow, Father's Day, and taking me to my dad's spot. And so I get to surprise my dad on uh, uh, the man who raised me um, on Father's Day. And so that felt right. And then as I'm looking through Craigslist, my hometown, trying to find gigs, I found, found this food vendors doing a music festival on the west side of Michigan starting Tuesday. And so, you know, looked at bus and train stuff and I can definitely afford to get to that and get, and I got hired to work for him for a few days. And then it turns out for the rest of my planned journey, there's two other areas and cities he's going to be in, or they're going to be in, uh, for festivals at the same time as me. So this could be you know, an ongoing gig for me throughout the adventure and at music festivals. So it feels right. Um, you know, that was kind of the affirmation I needed that, you know, hitchhiking and camping under highways and whatnot uh, doesn't really serve, serve the purpose and wasn't really the path I should be taking. Plus, you know, showing up to an open mic, um, looking like a bum, telling people I'm putting this thing together, that's not really, um, you know, advantageous to the long-term goal. So. Uh, so I'm almost home, got a day, and I'm going to be in Port Huron uh, this time tomorrow. And right now I got a four hour layover in Minneapolis. So this is what I'm doing, I'm going to this coffee shop, I'm going to do some interweb and stuff. Um, but this I guess would be episode 10, <laughs> the end of the first season for now. But very soon we'll keep things going. And of course, I don't have my GoPro charge cable, and I don't have the cable for my external hard drive, which I think I left in Chico, which has the roast on it and other things I could be doing editing. So, uh, yeah, the vision's still there, the goal is still there. I've shown that there is strong interest um, of varying degrees, but all interested thus far. So I feel like uh, I have a plan um, to get sponsors and both uh, individuals and businesses uh, in the next two months while I'm in Michigan, really work that angle and, you know, put the business plan together, the full deal, and, uh, and get the backing I need um, to pull this thing off uh, in the next eight, nine months. So, you know, something like eight to $10,000, um, and I, I think I can find that, you know, to do this. Uh, trying to create something that's an annual event that affects musicians and music scenes all over the country. Um, so I have some ideas of where I can find backing for that. So that's the deal. Uh, made a call. I'll probably be making other calls in the next year that are unexpected. Uh, but this one, I'm confident at this point, uh, was the right one to make. And, uh, and now that you all know I'm in Port Huron, let's kick it. I miss you guys. And uh, Chico, thank you for getting me this far and uh, with everything, with, um, you know, believing in me and, uh, and supporting me on this journey. Um, and of course, you know, still doing everything, but if, if people feel um, that their donation to the Patreon account, you know, isn't still in the same spirit, I'm still doing everything I still plan on doing. Um, that, that you can cancel at any time. Um, I don't want anyone to feel like they've been tricked. Uh, this is just the path and uh, I value your trust and support. And that's a nine minute video. Love y'all.